Welcome to so <laughs> much stuff in the way. It's a mess in here. A what's in the box? What's on the sprue? Horse Heresy Betrayal at Cal. I know this is a little bit older at this point, but uh, didn't really have a use for this until the new uh, Space Marine supplement, Angels of Death, came out. And that um, gives some use to these guys. I don't think I'll play this game because how I'm going to use these guys, I'm going to really modify them. I don't think they'll work in the game too much. But, you know, I probably could just put them in there, ignore the extra bits I'm going to put on them. So let's see what's in the box. Nice box. I like this box. So, oh, we get um, a bunch of bases. The big base for the um, Contemptor Dreadnought. Terminator bases in here, and then the new bigger bases for the regular Marines. We've got plenty of spare bases. We get some cards here. Neat. Um, where's my, what, what, no, 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 where's my, uh, Sharpie knife? Seriously, people, people have been in here, in my stuff, I swear. Oh, well, I guess I just have to deal with that, so I can't open that, so, that, that cards, bunch of cards. Looks like they describe the, um, they give them assault, bulk, different kind of things, probably for the game. Cool. Um, some cool dice for playing the game. Very interesting Things. I guess that skull might be a wound or defense or something on the little squigglies, squiggles, and then hips and all kinds of different things on there. Can you get a skull? There's a skull. Alright, now what's in here? Oh my goodness. <coughs> so, tactical marine sprues. Yes, we have bolters. Um, let me see. Ammo, bolt pistols, bolters, ammo packs. Arms, legs, there's a power fist right here. Um, this is, what is this? This is a combi, right here, it's a combi something. Combi Melta, maybe? I don't know. Right there. Uh, oh, a bunch of combat knives. Combat knife it up right in here. Um, old style rocket launcher, right there. And a bunch of shoulder pads. Most of them are plain, but we do have some, you know, get close to the, um, One's, whoop, focus. One's with a little, um, little rivets on them. Ah, the plasma gun right here. It looks like plain plasma. Right there. Little plasma. Where, there's the plasma gun. Right there. And then that cool banner right there by the rocket launcher. So, yeah, lots of stuff here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, this is a full squad. Um, one of these, I'm going to put, uh, Jump packs on because I have jump packs for them. Turn them into a couple of extra assault squads for a formation I want to do. And that will be cool. So I'll have a lot of these weapons left and stuff. Interesting. So you get one. And uh, it's weird though. Wait a minute. There's one backpack here. See that? It's got the one, only the one nozzle. And no other backpacks. Uh, I see why. Okay, so this is legs, shoulders, and stuff. So there's two of those. <clears throat> three of those for the three three tactical marine squads. Just like this. Alright, let me kind of move this box because it's not really helping for the helping to see what's under there. Okay, and then we got one. Let me make sure. Two. And yes, three. So we'll set two off to the side. These are the bodies and heads for the Tactical Marines. Okay, wow. They are not the really beaky guys, but sort of close. So let's get the comes out a little bit. Front and back bodies, um, pretty plain. All kind of very similar. Nothing special about the bodies. Uh, the back picks are a little bit more ornate in there. Kind of cool. There's this little... Um, uh, loincloth like thing there. Oh, focus, come on, focus. Loincloth, there it goes. And grenades, see grenades, there's a, I guess what would be a plasma pistol right up in here. Um, unholstered, there's a melt -a bomb a holstered bolt pistol with, looks like it's got grenades on the top of it, right? Right there, but it's probably something else, some kind of thing. 
So that is cool. So a melt bomb and an unholstered pistol for someone who might have a pistol drawn, I guess. So, that's those sprues. What else do we got in here? We have got this big sprue. I guess it's got to be... Yes, this is the Terminator. So they each got missing half of a leg there. On the legs. Um, they got the cool kind of lightning claws. Where is that? Right there. Oh, not even there. Right there. Cool. Let's see what we've got. Let me look here. One... One, two, three. That's a, that's a power fist. So three, four, five. So enough for everybody have that. Power fists. We got one, two, three, four. Four power fists because I guess the one sergeant would have the power sword. So four power fists. And we got one, two, three, four, five chains, chain fists. So they could all have chain fists. See, there's another power fist that I might be missing. Let's go through there again. One, two, oh, here's one, three, four, five. So, yeah, they're all going to have a power fist. Oh, God, that's cool. So, there are five. I missed this um, this pointy one right there. This one missed. So, that's awesome. These are <coughs> combi bolters they have right there. The combi bolter is standard for cataphracti terminators. Some, uh, Weird, tiny little, because they're I guess they're buried halfway in the little heads, so there's only you know see them right right there. They're tiny. They're kind of like half the canal heads. They're kind of tiny compared to other heads. I guess because it's only like the top part of the head sticking out. I like this. This is a um, oh a melta, big old multi melta right, right right here, or is this a might be flamer. Flamer or multi melter right there, that is awesome. Any other big guns? I have some uh, bigger, big Terminator guns on other things. I don't know. Oh, here's a nozzles for that, so it might be a flamer right there. So that is kind of cool. So, yeah. So that's the Cataphracti, Cataphracti Terminators. What else is in this box? Um, let me see. This is the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought, the Contemptor Dreadnought right here. Got that close. Beauteous. See it? It's very cool. Now, this is kind of a static pose. But like I did when I was making my building. You can take your hobby saw and cut right in these leg joints right here. Um, probably I would assemble it and then cut that leg joint after I assembled it, the bottom, the bottom frame here, to reposition those legs a little bit. And uh, it looks like uh, it's going to be hard because right here you see how this is like, how that is right there. It's really hard to get to this joint that's like here, right there, that joint on the front part but I mean if you can manage to get your saw down in there and cut that you can cut that torso and give him a twist as well which considering this it goes over and covers that a bit might be something to do now he's got two I don't know what these are melta guns here these two things right there he's got uh, what looks to be an assault cannon pieces are here and here and then here and then he's got some kind of melt a gun maybe yeah so some different weapon choices there for him so that'll be interesting and we have the character sprues so this is the Captain and the other guy, I forget what he's called, but uh, he's got this almost like a chaplain type thing, so that's what I would probably run him as, as another chaplain. They are very static posed, as you can tell on their bodies. Very statically posed. And um, my tool set and my skill set doesn't allow me to try to mess with these too much, so I probably won't. I'll just build them as is, 
and run them as is if necessary. If I, if I find a place where they would fit. So, yeah. But what's else in the box? I'm probably not going to play the game very much, if at all. But uh, maybe you would. There are these cool punch-out tiles. Now, I tell you what. If I can get a hold of more of these punch-out tiles from people who are not playing the game in the local area, these I probably would use because these... I would use as a kind of a space hulk kind of thing. I have the um what was that? Death Watch Overkill and it has some tiles in there. Maybe between that and this could make a cool space hulk uh, underground kind of type mission. That would be kind of cool to do, I think. Even without playing the game, using these tiles. So I don't know, is anybody else broken into these. <laughs> I guess, sorry, I gotta find a, a tool since someone's got my hobby knife off somewhere. Let's do that a little bit. Maybe that's enough. Yeah, that was... Oh, well, maybe it wasn't enough. Ah, I'm struggling. <laughs> so I want to see these tiles. <sighs> you're not you're not working with me here. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being sabotaged. I'm kicking. Ah, there we go. Out of the way, bless the grab. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's what we don't want to pop them out. Oh, yeah, look. Kind of a... Kind of things here. I don't know what you call those. Moonscape almost, but it's inside. I'm going to move the rest of that stuff out of the box and then put these tiles in because I don't really want them, you know, popping out. There's some weird weirdness here. Okay, oh, put you over the side there. Okay, there's a, that was that tile. We've got some counters on this board and another kind of tile there. One light is making so much shiny on there. Oh, that's nice on that side, isn't it? I like that. Okay, put you in. Here's another one. It's got a few of these counters like this on it. But yeah, look at that. Interesting. Interesting. I guess these could be considered like line of sight blocking or stuff in a mission. Pretty. And some more counters. And I don't know what they're for. For the game somehow. Interesting. Yeah, well this is a tight one here. And yeah, it's got the chaos symbol over here. Must be a chaosy place. Okay, we'll put that in there. And it came with these baggies. Which is kind of nice. I can get these larger bags. So. I just have a lot of them from a store that I used to own, a bead store. Uh, but uh, this is cool if you can't. Store those tokens in it. Really nice. Really cool. So it comes with those. Store the tokens. That's very thoughtful. Comes with this Horus Heresy transfer sheet. It's, um, wow, some of this is really small. And shoulder pad things what word bearer shoulder pads and yeah some some small stuff I'll get it closer to you guys but like let's see if you can see this writing it's it's writing on those that you can put on but let me look see it's just wiggles I don't think it's anything identifiable so yeah you could put that I guess overlay that I suck at these transfers I've tried let's see if I can get close enough yeah I've tried to do some of these transfers on the night and most of them didn't go well only the diamonds <laughs> did well not, not my best thing is transfers okay there is a oh look at this Kurtha said they got names or Gorlocks so this is assembly looking at this and, um, yeah Some cool things the word bears ultra means they're all gonna be the same same for me same same there's a lot of cool models for a really awesome price. Yeah, you should buy these Citadel things here to fix it, right? <laughs> oh, so they go, they do the characters first. I want to ease you into it. Then they move you into the tactical sergeant, and then they hit you over the head with all the technical guys, the heavy weapons guys, special weapons, Terminator guys, and then they, they thump you finally in the head with a big old dreadnought. <laughs> Actually, I think he's probably easier than some of the other guys. 
Wow, look at this. This is a um, quick reference chart on the back. Oops, right there. Sorry. The camera is kind of at a difficult angle for that. And we've got uh, some pretty pictures in here. All kinds of how to set up the tile numbers, the miniatures, reading the cards. Um, it's the gameplay basically. Really interesting. The weapons that are involved. Combi bolters. Shoot four. Mm -hmm. I guess you roll four dice. Um, yeah, plasma gun, plasma pistol. That is a heavy flamer. Heavy bolter. I did not see that, so that have to look for that. Regular flamer, combi weapon with a little thing. Missile launcher, and there's a melter gun in there. That's a melter gun. So I didn't miss it. Lightning claw, the uh, power fist, power sword. He's got a uh, contemptor power fist and a chain sword. I didn't see chain sword. That must not look very good. Was that the character sprue? Yes, no, I don't know. <laughs> scenarios, great. Set the board up this way and hit the scenarios. It's scenario. Yes. And some more pages back here. Uh, some fluff. Cool, so probably a little bit of story about going through the fight and everything. That is very coolness there. Fortunately for this as a board game, I don't know how often I'll play it as a board game. <laughs> I know a lot of people bought it because they really didn't know um, how they would play it as a board game too. So that all comes in the box. Rather hefty, strong cardstock. I do not see anyone being unhappy with the amount of cool stuff that you get in this box. And I know probably a lot of people have already got this, but this, if you're wanting to build a marine force and you're wanting a lot of basic marine miniatures to get up and running quickly this is this is the box for you right here this and a I, don't, I wouldn't even say a start collecting set but if you did this in a start collecting set you would be in the money for marines all this cool stuff in here so that's the War Cerisi Betrayal at Kalth box set all the cool minis that you get into it let's read on the back the exact numbers yes it says um 48 page rule book, 4 double sided board tiles, we got those, 4 reference command and damage cards, or 42, missed that too, sorted card counters, 12 dice, you get Captain, um, Ethion, um, Kurtha said, so that's a, the, I don't know, he's probably like, he's a chaplain, I'm using chaplain, so a captain and chaplain, the contemporary dreadnought, you get, um, 30 legion tactical space marines that right there that's 30 tactical marines not all the weapon options you can get in a tactical box but if you take tactical box like 40 bucks here that's 120 dollars this is 150 dollar box right you're you're just boom <laughs> you're there right um because you get the terminators that's a 40 dollar box about or 60 for the new command terminators and, the, and um, I'll just go ahead and spoiler it a little bit for the new Angels of Death book. These Cataphractic Terminators and the, um, the uh, Contemptor Dreadnought can be subbed in for any Dreadnoughts or any Terminators that you need in other formations. So you need uh, Salt Terminators in a formation, you can sub in the Legion Terminators. You need Shooty Terminators in a formation, you can sub in the Legion Terminators. Coolness makes this very worth it so this is this is a lot of models um you think of like let's go just uh 2020 on the two characters might be less might be a little bit more 2020 um so we got 120 20 uh, 160 right there uh let's just go 40 for the terminators because you know well they're like 50 or 60. So let's just do 40 say you get them on sale that's 200 and the uh, dreadnought is another 40 35 40. So, uh, 240 for 150, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, this right here, a lot of models, so get it, get it if you can. Alright guys, if you liked this video, please leave me a thumbs up, if you didn't, leave me a thumbs down, tell me what, what, what I did wrong, what I did so wrong, no, um, and uh, hey, if you've been thinking about this box, that's what in it, a lot of cool things, 
get it and subscribe to the channel for updates on all kinds of other things. We'll be getting battery reports soon. I know I've been saying that, but uh, a lot of illnesses and people uh, having to do some stuff and changes at the store that we're having to wait for. But once it's all through, we'll get those back up. Um, hopefully meeting Dan actually next week to do something, which would be cool. All right, guys, we will talk to you later.